I mean, I guess the goal of this handlock is it's like a smaller deck. Instead of, it's like more finesse, I guess. With only uh, one antique heal bot. I, was, I have a Farseer instead of the second one. Um, a little bit smaller mana curve. I might pull off something like the Sun Fury here. I just feel it's a little bit better moral pulling. Could fight for board next turn if you guys face like a moral pull and tap. Um, I could have moral coil this turn and play the Farseer in turn 3. I'm probably not going to play the Ooze unless he coins out a weapon or something. Another thing is I have a second Taunt Giver for like Molten Giants for example. Brawl is probably not super on the table but... Oh, that's interesting. The uh, Nazdormu Flood thing? I have no idea. I haven't read about it anywhere. This is kind of a weird move, but it's mostly for a mana curve. I almost feel like oozing, but it's too likely as weapon on turn 3. And, uh... Like, if I just play the Chow, it's harder for me to use my mana next turn. I probably do want to set this up where I can Argus two targets in instead of one target. Based on seeing the abuse of a leper gnome and the shredder, it's kind of like a hybrid hunter, I guess, with freeze and trap and maybe like high mains, but still have maybe some chargers. I, I should be able to use all my mana maybe next turn because of the mortal coil. Alright, let's start by coiling first and see what I draw before deciding the rest of the turn. Alright, that's good for me. Probably need to start tapping. Just so I get a second minion for defender next turn maybe, and uh... No, my mountain giants are costing a ton. I don't really know if I'm going to play mountain giant, but still need to tap. Because of some of those reasons. He doesn't play any weapons or secrets. He might get a gigantic eagle horn bow sometime in the mid game or late game to save ooze, maybe. Um, let's start by tapping here. I'm not gonna play ooze anymore. It's either gonna be Argus here or Twilight Drake. I kind of like the Argus more. Get to still have a three two and a two three on board this way. Uh, the Twilight Drake is like I don't know if it's greedy or or I don't know really what that means, but it's more like. If you place a trap, it's the single target as well, like the only the Twilight Drake. The Shaft Lamb is really good pickup because I can, I have a lot of life and I can stagger the AoE like when he plays uh, ne minions next turn. I don't need to deal with this high main. I have a taunt and even if he goes face, like Eagle Horn plus face, uh, I guess that would be kind of a problem but I have a ooze. I just misplayed in tournament. I don't know why exactly, but it just happened. Don't have a good reason for it. Played really bad though. Both of my mage games. kind of weird turn for me because uh, it's hard for me to clear here. I guess I could just like attack and then shadow flame something even if my guy dies. It's not a, that bad actually. I was thinking he may just yellow and go face play Molten, but that's pretty risky. Seven more damage kills me and I have Draxus. There's no reason for me to play like that. Let's just uh, shadow flame. Let's see what pings. Because I have like kind of free win, like it's kind of a face hunter deck, although it's a little bit bigger than a normal face hunter deck, but I have uh, Draxus and this little giant.
So I'm trying to think because it's kind of a hybrid between face and mid range. Like more mid range, I'm more tempted to attack because I still need to draw answers for like Dr. Boom and stuff. But it seems like I'm far enough tempo wise and he might just have more burn. So uh, I'm not going to tap here. I can play a Molten and tap. I mean, it's like the same thing, free Molten Giant anyways. Now I'm trying to think I should trade because if he can kill me, he needs 9 damage to kill me. It's not completely unlucky, but trading doesn't actually kill it sometimes. I think just face here and race. It's like I can get screwed by Doomsayer too. Uh, Jackie, Jack Yell 91, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. I'm gonna play the uh, Sun Fury here. I guess it's heal bot still over the Lothab, just because uh seems safer anyways. Lothab's pretty good, but it does still seem safer to play heal bot. If he has like double owl, for example. Drax is not all that bad too. This is like develops more power on board, kind of. Uh, feel it's a little bit safer as well because I get to go up to 15 just like Drax and have taunt. I guess Drax is kind of greedier in a way, but I'm not sure if it's necessary. I think he would have to clear everything here and get the freezing trap right for the giant, which should be pretty good. I mean, my hand is good too, so. Oh, let's stop by attacking. Actually, is that even necessary? Because I can't play it again. Let's just play both on minions. And then try one shot him next turn with the 8 8. I should be able to attack with another minion. I mean, it's almost really freezing. This matchup, uh, I like to get Zombie Chow, Mortal Coils, Dark Bomb, Hellfire, and Molten Giant. I like Drake a lot more than Giant. Probably have to play stuff early. This is a good hand. He didn't play all his stuff last turn though, like he didn't miss anything last turn. I guess he just DC'd it anyways. Okay, I think this is a reason to keep an owl. Like, you can uh, owl this. Because it's turn 2 and not turn 3 from Ruster, he's already his coin. For the most part, this will work. It's not guaranteed if he's playing some weird cards, such as uh, like Divine Shield Givers, for example. Anything that gives a Divine Shield, which is like Argent Protector, things like that. I think I'm incentivized to uh, tap here. I mean, I could just trade first here, but I can also more pull and tap, clear the board. Clearing the board is not as good as making a 3-3 against a 1-1, but I have two drakes in my hand. So it is better for me to have more cards rather than my my drakes being like chill and yetis at that point. Yeah, they would be chill and yetis at that point. Whereas now they're like four or sixes, I think. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty juicy weapon to get. Alright, well, I guess it's gonna happen. That's better than Twilight Drake. I like tapping here because I can play Zombie Chow next turn with the twi Twilight Drake. One of the reasons why I like this card a lot in Tanlock is because, like, against Rogue, for example, you don't need the card draw from Harrison, and, like, that's a matchup where they really like. Like, it's good for them to hold, like, a 5-1 weapon, 5-2 weapon, because they're trying to play around Molten Giants, so 
they always like hold weapons. They don't just go for it like that. Oh, I'm completely fine against Quartermaster. It's not a big deal. Um, still kind of scary just because I'm trying to weak to it, but I have a Dark Bomb and a 4 8, so. I'm actually more scared of Owl than, than Quartermaster here. New message on Twitch. Wait, where my chat go? I got. Oh, this is weird to lay out. I didn't realize his hand, his deck was so aggro. It seemed like a mid range, but now I guess this is not a mid range. It's a really aggressive deck. How many cards did he get from the Divine Favor? I'm guessing around three or four. I think I have enough of a lead to not play Emperor here and to play a Shadow Flame here. Just because if his deck is running like Divine Favor and this kind of stuff, he might have a lot of things like uh, like Blessing of Might and Blessing of Kings. I want to clear his board so I don't get killed by that stuff. If I do want a Shadow Flame, I guess it would be Shadow Flame the Chow. I could Shadow Flame the Watcher as well. I like Shadow Flame the Watcher more actually. Even though he's a 30 and the Chow would not heal him. Um, the problem with the other move... Because I want to play these two next turn, I don't really have mana Dark Bomb. So I need two minions that can trade off against everything next turn. Whereas if I Shadow Flame this, the Watcher doesn't really start trading next turn. It makes it much harder for me to play this move. I might have to stay squeezing a Dark Bomb to clear the board next turn. I'm still not guaranteed to build clear his board two minions, but it's much easier. Looks like he's just going for it. Really scared of things like Leroy. Mold Giant would be good. Oh, that's really good. My eyes are open. It's actually a taunt here for Consecrate. Since I can move this out of Consecrate range. Okay, another taunt. I think I need more answers to win this game. It's not really about Emperor. I don't have a great Emperor hand. I'd like to taunt two minions, but like if it's another quality, Consecrate doesn't matter. I don't know. It seems like I'm going to die. And if I wasn't going to play this Sunfair, I should have played Emperor. I guess I should play it. It's like a 2-3 as well on board. Kind of weird though to try to trade off with the 2-3. Maybe it was better for me to just uh, tap and play Ember. Then I'd be at 7, including the weapon. So I'd die to Leroy and a buff Let me think. the other way. I mean, because like he has 6 cards in his hand, I, I think no matter what I do, I do need a tap. Because I'm not going to win with this hand. I need more stuff still. Like, I need to get Antique Healbot, Sludge Belcher, or like Drax would be really good. I guess I probably would have died if I didn't play that. It's actually possible I just beat him in a race at this point. Let's see, if I tap I have a Wonder. one good Sunfree draw, a good Lothab draw, and a good Heal Butt. Wait, Heal Butt and Sludge Belcher, not Lothab. That's three top decks that are good. I don't think Lothab does anything. Actually, as is of 9 11 damage. Next turn, I still wouldn't win in two turns. I don't remember really if I have to use the Dark Bomb for board control. It's just like, the reason why I'm playing around it is to play around the second Divine Favor, potentially. Uh, just got burned out.
agree to do this. So like the Mount Giant hand is uh it's good to keep against Handlock, of course. And then against Zoo it's bad. He mulligan three cards, kinda of more likely it's handlock than Zoo. I'm gonna just keep the Mountain Giant. Gonna be hard against Zoo. I would mulligan everything in Zoo, like I wouldn't keep the Farcer against Zoo either. If it was Zoo, I'd just mulligan all of my hands, all my cards there. I don't think you ever keep Earthen Ring against another Warlock. So it looks like it might be Handlock. I'm not playing Ooze here because he didn't play a drop, so it's more likely to be Handlock. And if I play Ooze, I can't play Mountain Giant on turn 4. Could also be like Malagos Dragon or something like that. I think that deck is falling out of favor a little bit. More people are playing like normal Handlock again. I have double Shadow Flame in my deck, which is really good in the mirror. But then I also don't like my deck is also have a lower mana curve than most handlocks. Like I don't have Ragnaros. There's like trade-offs both ways, basically. The double shadow flame is like the compensate. I wouldn't be surprised to get BGH at all, but That's pretty good for me. A little bit awkward, so I dropped the Acidic Swamp Ooze. He can kill my guy for free and get a second slime. I almost feel like he needs this to go into the giant anyways. If he's removing with Black Ring Corruptor, it seems like he needs like Implosion. Like he doesn't have BGH probably, so it means that he needs to do something like Implosion or another Black Ring Corruptor. In which case, this guy would survive. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. I'd definitely go face here against this kind of deck. Because he doesn't run Molten Giants, so just want to get in as much damage as possible. The reason I didn't play Watcher is because uh, I can play Shaft and Watcher next turn no matter what if I need to, so there's no point in playing it this turn. I mean, I doubt it's going to be a Shadow Flame Watcher, that's too weak of a Shadow Flame. I have a good tempo hand because I have Docker Boom next turn, so I want to follow this turn, and plus he didn't have the BGH, so I'm pretty far ahead like tempo wise this game. I do want to follow this turn up with a strong tempo move and not something too greedy, like probably doesn't involve tap. I, mean, I can Dark Bomb trade, drop a Earthen Ring, which is pretty strong. My other move is just Sylvanas, which would just trade for both, and I go face. I almost feel like I value the uh, the Dark Bomb more. Like, I don't feel like Sylvanas is a great card in this matchup. Their minions are mostly small. There's like a Maligos potentially, but that's mostly not coming down until they one-shot you. They have a lot of like 1-1s, one like I... Uh, after implosions, for example. And that's why I get this getting three extra damage and have this th dark bomb threatening three more damage in my hand. It's a really aggressive move, I guess, because board control is almost the same to just trade dark bomb and drop farce here. I'd have a 3 3 on board against a 1 1 instead of a 3 2 against nothing. It's actually a little bit weaker. Like, this move is actually a little bit stronger than the Earthen Ring dark bomb move still. Actually, it's a little bit weaker, sorry. I thought he'd try to trade both for the Solanus, but he could trade one for Swamp Ooze, yeah. <laughs> Not much to think about here. He didn't have BJH two turns ago, or at least like three turns ago. More unlikely he has a BJH than like an Owl. I haven't played anything that he would Owl. And this is just kind of throwing lethal as well. Control pile is pretty much gone as far as like there's too many minions that uh that are must kill now, I guess is what I mean to say. Control pile really relied on ignoring a lot of minions and just going and just healing and then like clearing like equality. Like that's how control pile worked in the past. Nowadays there's like too many must kill minions where you can't ignore like Source Apprentice, things like Emperor, you can't like just ignore it and out heal them. Or like Elder Peacekeeper, for example. 
Like the standard thing in the past is just the peacekeeper, big minions, ignore small minions and just heal an AoE, but you can't ignore those minions. Too many unignorable minions. And things like Minibot also, it's gonna ring your day. Uh, got a 10 donation from E Infinity. You are a star, star, star legend, mate. You're a perfect flower. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Well, I'm flattered to hear that. Interesting. I'm not scared of dying, obviously, because he hasn't played Emperor yet. Alright, well, this is obviously Smash Your Face. Nice thing to think before on Dark Bomb. Twilight Drake plus Dark Bomb, or now the Emperor. Sounds pretty good. Because the 3 3 isn't really threatening any of my guys. I guess I should just play in a way where I remove his minion. Like, this is a technically a stronger minion than Emperor. Even though it's weaker to science, he probably is an owl. But, uh,. Because he doesn't have a BGH, he has to remove it through like minion damage plus actual damage. So it's still nice to remove the 3 3. Even though it doesn't really contest it, maybe he can use like that plus Soulfire, for example, would contest it. Or, you know, some kind of dark damage implosion spell power. My hand's. It's always nice to drop Emperor, though. My hand isn't amazing with Emperor, but it's still really nice to have with Emperor. I'd have like a Drake plus Earth Ring. I can even tap. Like, the, making the Shadow Flames cheaper, it's all really good. I guess I could just wait next turn. It's gonna be a soul fire, that means. I think. Yeah. He had to do or he dies. That's. I guess Abuse is not a bad card to lose, but it means that he probably can't win anymore because the burst is gone. I don't know any really strong dragon decks. The strongest one I do know is probably just Control War. It's not technically a dragon deck. I don't know. Because Control War is one of the best decks and Dragon Control War is only like two cards different. Start by tapping. I can... Regardless of what I do, I'm probably going to tap anyway, so... I wonder if I had lethal with the Argus and Shadow Flame. Oh, nice matchup for me. Uh, I'm looking for like basically exactly drakes and giants. You just keep tapping the smasher and drop drakes and giants. It's hard for them to keep up, and then like eventually you like after those turns, then you start dropping like Lothab and Sylvanas and Emperor. But it's just a big disparity as the hero power in this matchup, since their hero power doesn't really do anything and yours does. Like there's not a lot of like creature fighting and then them healing their minions in this matchup. There's not a lot of like me going face and then healing, so it's just like the hero power is a big disparity in this matchup. I'm probably not gonna worry about that guy. I'm not even gonna owl it. Since the owl just dies to it. I will owl it if he starts buffing him more, like Velen's Chosen or something, but for the most part he can't draw anyways. Kind of awkward though. It makes some sense to play BGH on turn three. He would get a draw though. Uh, it's actually pretty scary to see that card. It means that his deck is more combo based, I believe. So like I wouldn't be surprised if he's running like Mind Blast and Ember, Thorazon, Maligos, things like uh, Velen's Prophet Velen. Those are some scary cards against me. Like in a way it makes sense to try to save Lothab, but it's I don't think it would turn like if he has the combo and has enough damage, it's gonna kill me anyways. It's mostly not around like this matchup's not fast enough where it's like that one turn is gonna save me, that Lothab turn. Um but the only reason why I didn't put Lothab here is because I think Belcher's better anyways, but like I would have played Lothab here if I didn't have Belcher. 
I'm, I'm not really trying to say what the for combo. I don't know what the kind of deck this is, but loot horror kind of means they want wants to cycle for combo cards a lot of times. Um, usually, handlock is not favored against Malagos. Malagos is better in the mirror matchups. Lothab actually might do something, because he's actually giving me super low. If I can combo Lothab with Molten Giants, that will be like an important turn where I can one-shot him, potentially. Yeah, so this is getting really scary. I might just be dead here. I might mean, steal the Emperor with Hellfire, I don't want to take the damage though. I'm probably just going to steal the Northshire Cleric. The thing is, like, I could play Lothab. But he's still gonna kill me next turn. I can't even load up and tap. So many Villain is six mind blasts for one. I guess you can't kill me anyways. Let none survive. I mean maybe, I don't know. What I'm saying is I would die anyways. If he has enough damage. Not like the one load up turn is gonna save me next turn. It's actually probably better to do it next turn since on seven mana it's still harder for him to kill me than eight. Especially since Velen is 6 and Mind Blast is 1, so he needs 8 damage to do Velen, like, double double Mind Blast Velen. So it should be the next turn where if I'm going to load up anyways. Hopefully I can one-shot him the next turn. I think it's going to be hard. Maybe I should even leave up Dagger Drake and just get all the damage I can to threaten the one-shot. I don't know. I, I, I guess I don't have enough. I don't have 30 power on board, even with Molten Giant and Lothab next turn. I can't play Molten Giant and Lothab. Okay, I want to play Lothab here though, regardless of what I do. Do I have spell power? I wonder. Oh, I do have spell power. Interesting. It doesn't matter, I think. I'm trying to win in two turns. I'm going old face and leaving it up. I need to win next turn, basically, because this is my only this is my Lothab turn, which means I can't die this turn. Next turn, I could easily die. And this is not that scary. This spell power or the four four because of the Lothab here. It seems like I have more than twenty on board. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 19 damage here, plus some burn in my hand. I could easily just win the game next turn. Play around the combo this way. In fact, I think I win. I'm not sure though. Eleven, twelve, thirteen plus Northshire is seventeen plus Hellfire is twenty one damage. So many possibilities. Okay, I can't win anyways, I might as well shadow flame something else. Choose on that. It's just... Oh my god. I don't think I have enough time, or I can't win anyways. I don't have enough damage. Ah, uh, messed that up. What have eight men in my hand? I didn't have enough mana to play Dark Bomb and Hellfire. That's really weird, though. Ah, uh, 